another Goldilocks. Mammy was working in a sawmill. Her hours kept her from being at home to attend to the three boys' dinner break from school. Auntie May, who lived in the close, hers was the first house on the right as you entered the tenement. Her weekly income did not stretch to include the three ravenous brothers, but she did agree to feed the boys for the day. She was not good when working with a frying pan, chip pan, kettle, cups or plates. In fact, the panic her to confusion. Boys, she didn't have a clue. Five minutes before their time torture, she had four rings lighted on the gas oven when normally she only had one to boil a pot of tea. The kettle boiled and boiled, expelling hot liquid to where it should never have gone. Splash, splash, scattering droplets of this scalding water into the pan standing on the next gas ring. This was the uncovered chip pan. Itself was boiling away with its contents of white lard and chips. This container exploded into flame. Oh, concern for Auntie May. As quick as the fire started, she ran hell for leather to the tenement door opened the outside door and then ran back to the food cooker, now an inferno. She had no knowledge of how to extinguish a chip pan fire, although she did pick up her dish towel, wrapped it round the now burning wooden handle of the metal container, holding the frying chips. It was now an inferno in her wee single end, throwing the tea towel round and smothering the pan handle. She managed to lift the now blazing chip pan Running with a fierce fire forwards in her outstretched bare arms, she headed for the backyard where the dustbins were, only getting as far as a little bit of green grass. She let fly with this blazing contraption. About turned, I stood at the back of the close watching her. Luckily, she had another deep pot, so she started to prepare porridge oats, only not as hot. She had only had enough oats for three helpings, one for each of the boys. I arrived from school first. I sat down at a now opened up table, the one that folded to the wall in any single end. Auntie May lay down my bowl of porridge. As I was eating, she served up the other two bowls and laid them in front of the fold-down table. Mistake. By this time, I saw my bowl was empty. Auntie May's back was turned as the smell of hot porridge wafted the room. It was not greed or badness. It was she gave me three bowls of porridge. I better eat them all up. Just like three bears. The other two brothers had to return to school hungry.